How many concept arts did you have to do before you made the real one? Uh, for for every character? Or, I mean, it depends on, 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 on the character. Sometimes I do just one and I li and like it, and everybody likes it, and then I mean some... for Bulkhead. Oh, for Bulkhead? Yeah. Bulkhead, we did... I did one... The first one I did was... was, um, <laughs> was surprisingly, it was even fatter and rounder. Um, and then they kind of had me make his proportions more like, um, like a football player. So he squared his shoulders off. So I think he went through probably two, two or three different versions. We did the, there's um, ones I, I, when I was trying to figure out what color he was too, he, we went through a lot of different color changes. Um, what gave you the idea to make uh, Shockwave a uh, spy bot? That I think was Marty's idea. Um, Corey Burton always loved doing Shockwave's voice, even in the original show, and he really wanted to do that character again. And so Marty thought of that way of writing him into the show so he could, um, he could have a lot of, a lot of screen time. Okay, uh, thanks. Mm -hmm.